Since 1999, June has been officially recognized as Pride Month in the United States. However, the first Pride parades began in 1970 following the Stonewall Uprising, often described as the birth of the modern queer rights movement. The parades were a way to increase visibility for the LGBTQ community and a bold political statement that birthed the rallying cry, we're here and we're queer. Today, every U.S. state celebrates Pride in some way. In Rome, Georgia, the home of Barry College, the first official Pride Parade was finally held in 2022. Though the festival is only three years old, it is already the largest Pride event in rural North Georgia and brings in 3,000 attendees annually. Students from Barry College had the chance to attend the inaugural parade, along with faculty members. I was one of those students. This was my first Pride celebration, and I believe I just turned 19 at the time, so I was still figuring out who I am and who my what my identity is. And I'd heard a lot about Pride from some of my other friends who had gone to Pride in bigger cities, so I was expecting a really large and crowded parade, but I was pleasantly surprised at the lack of crowd and how just supportive everyone was, because Rome isn't the most accepting community sometimes. Just as they are in America, LGBTQ Pride Month celebrations are in full swing across Europe and other continents. In the year 2000, only 34 countries celebrated Pride. As of 2024, there are Pride celebrations in over 100. This year's 2024 Pride celebration in Vienna, Austria, saw record-breaking numbers. Almost 300,000 attendees lined the streets to watch the parade or wander the street market. The event dates back to 1996, when the homosexual initiated of Vienna hosted the first public Pride parade in the country. Since then, the event has become the largest of Pride event in the country and welcomes people from all walks of life. Lots and lots of straight people go, uh, and it is just a spectacular festival. Really loud and joyous, lots of body pain, lots of nudity, but also just great music. One person who participated in the Vienna's parade this year is Leandro Barros, who performs in a Viennese drag show under the name Madame Lea. Leandro was originally from Brazil, where their hometown of San Paulo began an official Pride Parade in 1997. San Paulo's first Pride event had a crowd of 2,000 people and consisted only of a parade. Now, the five-day celebration features street markets, museum exhibits, festivals, and is the largest Pride celebration in Brazil. San Paulo has held the Guinness World Record for the largest Pride celebration since 2006, when it hit 2.5 million attendees. Brazil has the largest Pride Parade in the whole world. Really? So, yeah, it's in my, in my, my state mm -hmm. and very close to my city. It's the capital, São Paulo. Mm -hmm. It holds a pride parade that takes three million people to the streets, oh, wow. or even more. Across three continents and ranging from rural Georgia to an ancient European capital to a Brazilian city of 22 million, pride events are increasing visibility and awareness of LGBTQ issues. These events give the queer community a voice to promote change and help create a safe space free of discrimination and prejudice. With Viking Fusion News, I'm June Rowland.